practice makes perfect. And the 29th Training System Squadron at Eglin Air Force Base makes sure warfighters get the practice they need before they fly in the war zone. We just try to focus the efforts on what best helps the warrior to accomplish his goal of training to be the best fighter in the world. The 29th researches, buys, and tests every simulator in the Combat Air Force. They ensure the simulator gives the pilot the most realistic training next to flying a plane. It's nice to be able to get them in here and make sure that they're able to maintain their proficiency to Air Force standards. And it's an environment where uh, they can test their skills a little bit and do it safely. That's the key. Pilots can even fly in virtual battlefields with other pilots around the world. Simulators are now connected via the internet like video games. Scenarios allow F-16s to fly with bombers, AWACS, and even with the Army and Navy. We share a common environment, we see the same thing, and the results of our participation, you know, if we drop bombs or shoot missiles, other people see the results. We kill the bad guys, they die on the other people's screens. Mr. Epplett also says simulators will soon allow pilots to fly with coalition aircraft. Senior Airman Matthew Klaus, Eglin Air Force Base, Florida.